Hey everybody, it's Alicia with PixieStock.com and welcome to another Teach Me Tuesday. Today I'm going to really quickly show you how to change the color of objects in a stock photo to match your brand. And I know that not every stock photo is going to have the colors that are specific to your brand or your blog. Um, so I just want to quickly show you how you can change those. So before I get into this, I just want to mention that you want to make sure that it is not against the terms and conditions to do this um, on any stock photo that you download from the internet. Um, with the photos that I give you uh, with Pixie Stock every month, it is not against my terms to change the colors and to alter the images to fit your um, business needs. But for some, it may. So just be mindful of that before you start to change colors and move objects around and alter images in any way. So I've already opened up the image here, as you can see in Pixlr, just by going to File, Open Image, and I just pulled it from my computer. This is one of the free images that I sent via email in March. So if you're not on the list, um, just click the link in the comments and so that you can get access to the free images that I send out every month. So I'm just gonna hide this layer really quickly so we can get started. So the first thing that I did is just duplicate the layer. If you go to the background, which is the original image and you right click and select duplicate layer, it's gonna create a second layer, which is the same image, just in case you mess up, you'll be able to always go back to the original image. So we're gonna be using the color replace tool for this quick tutorial. And the first thing that you wanna do is select the color that you wanna change the objects to. So right now we're looking at navy blue and maybe your brand colors are green or purple or pink. So we're gonna select that color that you wanna change it to. So if you come down here to the left, you're gonna set the main color by clicking on the color selector um, there and it's gonna bring up the module. And just select whichever color that you want. The key for this is to make sure that if you're starting out with a darker color, for instance, we're starting out with a dark blue, for it to look more realistic, you wanna translate it to a darker color um, in the shade that you want. So going from a dark navy blue to a bright neon yellow is probably gonna give you some distortion, some noise, some fuzziness in the color. So if you were to change it from a dark blue to a dark yellow, that would suit you better. So since we're working with this navy blue, I'm just gonna go and select kind of a dark pink here. In Pixlr, you're a little bit limited in how you can lighten, darken, saturate, or change the hue um, with the colors. But in Photoshop, you have a little bit more flexibility with that, so just keep that in mind. All right, and so next you wanna make sure that you select the correct brush size. So right here, you can change the diameter of how large or how small the brush is. I'm just gonna leave it at about four, 50-ish. That should be a good enough brush size. And then you can change the tolerance. So because we are painting on a white background and the blue is such a stark contrast between the light um, background, we can have a high tolerance for this. So we're going to bring this up to just about around 100. And if this was a light blue underneath, you would probably wanna lower that tolerance to make sure that you're only selecting the dark blue on top. But because this is such a stark contrast between the two, we can have a high tolerance for that. And then we'll get into match target lightness in just a second. So what you're gonna be doing is painting over the color that you don't want with the color that you do want. The idea of this is to click and hold and don't lift up the mouse so that you can just paint over everything in one sweep. So we're gonna select the blue and click and hold, and then we're just gonna paint over it. And we're gonna paint all around. Still clicking and holding, we're gonna drag this over to the blue on the other side. And as you can see, you can color outside the lines because it's only gonna select the blue color that you initially clicked on. All right.
All right, and then you can let go of the mouse. So that is the quickest way to change the color. As you can see, we selected a really high vibrant pink here, and this is more of a darker pink. So in order to change that, you will need to select match target lightness. So we're gonna redo this, clicking match target lightness, and see what we come up with. As you can see, it's much lighter. Again, continue to press and hold or click and hold and select all the blue in the photo and change it to the color that you want. So as you can see, the lighter that we go is a bit fuzzy and, is, and this has a little bit more noise in it. Um, Photoshop, again, allows you a little bit more flexibility with that, but Pixlr is just a quick, easy way to simply change the color if you need something pretty um, fast and simple. Okay, so let's try a different color here really quickly. Um, let's just say instead of a dark blue, you have more of a teal or an aqua, an aqua blue. Again, you're just gonna press and hold, and you're gonna paint over the blue color that you wanna change. Yeah, so as you can see, that's pretty vibrant. All right, so my suggestion would be that if you're starting off with a darker color, that you match a darker color. Um, if this was already a bright blue, then changing it to a bright pink or a bright yellow or a bright green probably wouldn't look as distorted and um, unrealistic. But this does give you a quick fix if you want to do that. So next we're gonna move into Photoshop and try it there. All right, so now we're in Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing here. The first thing you're gonna do is Again, duplicate the layer, so just in case you mess up, you can go back to the original layer. You're gonna go up to Image, Adjustments, and then down to Replace Color. Now this one is a little bit more um, complex in that you have a little bit more flexibility with what you can do. And so you wanna make sure that you're selecting all the variations of blue in the photo. So the first color is gonna be the color that you select that you want to change, and then the second swatch is the color that you wanna replace it with. So we're gonna select the eyedropper tool, and then we're gonna come select one of the blues, one of the blue areas that we want to change. So as you can see, even though I selected this blue, when you look here in this, image, you can see that there's some darker areas that we need to also have selected so we can select all the variation of blue so that it all changes. The white spots in this image are the blues that are going to change. If it's black, that means it's going to remain the same. So we're going to select the eyedropper with the plus sign and we're going to add to the blues that we can see that it missed. So we're just going to select different areas. And as you can see, new areas are becoming white, which means that it's going to pick up the variations of blue in that as well. All right, and then you just want to drag the fuzziness bar so that it's not picking up the keyboard, but it's only picking up the blue areas that you want. And then the fun part comes when you can change the color to whatever you like. Now, again, as I said in Pixlr, if you start off with a dark color, it looks more realistic if you change it to a different color, but that's also the same shade of dark. So again, going from a dark navy blue to a bright pale pink, it may look a little bit unrealistic and you may have some distortion and noise and fuzziness in that. So you can either click the swatch and select an 
a specific color that you want. As you can see, it, the image is changing. Or you can play around with the hue saturation bar and change it to the color that you want here. You can up the saturation, you can up the lightness or make it darker, however you need to match your brand. Again, going from say a dark blue to a highly saturated light pink, as you can see, there's a lot of distortion and a lot of discoloration. So if this image started off looking like this, if it was a light pink envelope, a light pink um, pen holder cup, then changing the color to another lighter color probably wouldn't give you this distortion. But because we're going again from a really dark color to a really light color, you're gonna have that um, distortion in there. So be mindful of that as you play around with this. So we're just gonna bring the darkness back down a little bit to let's just say a forest green. And then go ahead and click okay. And then you change the color to whatever you like. So that's the quickest and easiest way that I know of to change the colors of objects in a stock photo in Pixlr or Photoshop. Pixlr is the free version. Obviously Photoshop you have to pay for, um, but Photoshop does give you a little bit more flexibility. Photoshop, can you can even select certain areas, um, really zoom in there, use a, a whole lot of other tools if you want to get it very, very precise. Um, but this is a fast and easy way to do it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. And if you have any questions, go ahead and enter them in the comments and I will answer as many as I can if you found this helpful. Um, yeah, go ahead and let me know. And I will hope to see you guys again on another Teach Me Tuesday. Bye.